Hey guys, this is Jeff Parrott from environmentartist.com and I've just got a quick workflow tip, a uh, little advice when working in Maya if you want to, uh, let's say we've just kind of sped things up here and I just want to get the texturing and I don't want to worry about UV mapping right now. What I typically would do here is just automatic map this object. And now this is great maybe for right now and we go in here and start painting. Later, you know, maybe we realize that uh, the choice of our seams is not the best. So we want to re-UV map this and I've went ahead and done that here. So I've just UV mapped the same object exactly how I really want it broken up. Uh, it'll just be a lot easier for me to texture this in the long run. So what I want to do now is transfer this diffuse. Maybe this is a finished uh, object, uh, basketball or something, and we want to transfer that onto this. So it's pretty easy to do in Maya 2016. It's just changed a little different. Uh, the, the buttons and the options are a little different. So let's just cover that. So go to your drop down, go to shading, texture baking, turtle texture baking, and then we'll go to baking here. And we want to make sure we have the new object selected, that's our target, and then our old object selected, that is our source. Now you want to both visible you want to make sure they're both visible here and then uh, we'll go down here and make sure that we'll start set it we'll start changing these options here from the bottom we don't want to do anything on the shader so you want to make sure all these are unchecked typically everything else in advanced sh settings should be unchecked so that's fine you want to bake the albedo un unless for some reason you would want a shading but you'd probably want to do this in passes that's all under output, nothing in vertex. Texture bake settings, this would be your size, the larger, the sharper it's gonna be. Uh, you guys know that stuff. Let's save this out to the desktop and we'll call it test.tga. Uh, filtering, if we want that on or not, I'm gonna turn that off. Edge dilation five. Uh, if I wanted, if I really wanted to do this, I probably would do a 2048 or a 4096 and then down res it myself later. Uh, but just for this example, I'm going to do a low res version. And then uh, common settings there, we want to make sure that we're not baking the alpha, we're not baking the shadow, and we're not baking reflections. And then if you want the background color changed to something, say you wanted uh, magenta, go ahead. Uh, that's completely up to you. Maybe it's green or, or something easier for you to select. And the transfer settings, we're just changing from sampling preset to closest. Otherwise we leave everything else the way it is. And we don't need an envelope for this. And then after that we can just go to texture baking, bake. And there's our object. You can see we've got these little hints of magenta here. One thing you want to do is make sure it looks really bright. You want to make sure that you're checking this button up here. Uh, that'll show you what the texture actually looks like. So I've went ahead and applied this to a texture. Actually, I'll go ahead and do that now. So create material, fong, and let's just throw this on really quick just to give it a test. We'll move this one over here and we'll grab this and just drop it on there. And you can see it matches this object. It's a little blurry, but again, that's the resolution. If I would rebake this at say uh, uh, 2048 or 4096, it would be a lot sharper. And it's also using these brand new UVs. That's it. Hope this is helpful. Thanks guys.